the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my own joy may be in you and your joy be complete. This is my commandment, love one another as I have loved you. A man can have no greater love than to lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I shall not call you servants anymore because a servant does not know his master's business. I call you friends because I have made known to you everything I have learned from my father. You did not choose me. No, I chose you. And I commissioned you to go out and to bear fruit. Fruit that will last. And then the Father will give you anything you ask him in my name. What I command you is to love another. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, what a beautiful passage from the Gospel we have today. Not only for Timothy and me are called to follow the Lord. Of course, we are called to follow the Lord more closely through the ministerial priesthood. But each and every one of you also are called to follow the Lord. Basically, we are all called to be disciples. As we celebrate today the feast of St. Matthias, who replaced Judas among the twelve, we need to remind ourselves our own choice by God. There were two criteria for the choice of Matthias. Peter said, he should have been with us right from the beginning, with us and Jesus, with Jesus right from the beginning. Who is a disciple who walks along with Jesus, who follows the Master, who sees what Jesus does and who hears what Jesus says. We can't simply say disciple without being with him and happy even on a big day. You sacrifice your time and energy to be here. That is the beginning of discipleship. Secondly, Peter said that person should be a witness to the resurrection. So Matthias is a witness to the resurrection and you and I are called to be witness to the resurrection. The risen Lord is there even now. Not only the empty tomb, not only the apparitions, but years of sacrifice, years of charity of the church prove beyond doubt that the risen Lord is truly alive. And then we come to today's gospel. Some of the other things that disciples are asked to do in their life to be really faithful to Jesus. Every sentence of today's gospel can be meditated upon hours together, days together. Jesus first says, if you are my disciple, you should remain in my love. How do I remain in the love of the Father? I keep the Father's commands and remain in his love. You also must remain in my love by keeping my commandments. One of the beautiful things, remaining in the love. Then Jesus says, a new commandment I am giving to the disciples. I loved you to the extent of laying down my life for you. So also you love one another. That is another sign of being disciples. Disciples who are not in communion with others in the family, 
are not true disciples i loved you you also should love another sentence for example this says that often it is quoted in occasion uh, functions and all you did not choose me i chose you the choice is mine this says but the next phrase also we should not forget that you may bear abundant fruit why we are chosen to be disciples that we may be really fruitful through our lives of service humility charity patience that is it we are being chosen and then finally the reassurance of jesus to the disciples don't think everything is futile no whatever you ask i will grant let us be good disciples faithful disciples true disciples as the word of god invites us amen